संत कृपाए सुख उपजे संत कृपा थी सरे काम संत कृपा थी पामी ए पूरन पुरुषोत्तम धाम काम दुधा कल्प तरु पारस चिंताम निचार संत समान ते एक नहीं में मन मा करो विचार हरि कृष्ण महाराज नी जय गणश्याम महाराज नी जय स्वामी नारायण भगवान नी जय सुप्रीम ओम माइ लॉर्ड स्वामी नारायण द पाथ मेकर टू आर लिबरेशन पूज्यपाद गुरु जी पूज्य श्री जी स्वामी एंड ऑल ऑफ यू डिवोडीज हु आर वॉचिंग माई हम ओल जय स्वामी नारायण feelings something that humans animals trees and even plants possess if humans did not possess feelings they can be compared to robots or machines but the only difference between a human and a robot is that a human has feelings and a robot has no feelings through that a robot can do the same work a human does a robot a machine can do even more work than a human does without any kind of food without any kind of comfort shelter it does not need anything it just works and works but a human gets tired but the positive part about a human being is that he or she possesses feelings now in religion what kind of feelings you hold towards bhagwan saints and devotees is very very important so important that bhagwan says that if one wants to attain liberation then one should hold certain kinds of feelings today i want to speak to you about the vachanamrut gadada middle chapter 27th vachanamrut only three lines that's all we're going to discuss today but these three lines are so important that off of that one can understand how one's spiritual level is right now in satsang and after identifying one can elevate one spiritual endeavor so first i'm going to read the lines and then we'll understand it furthermore swami narayan hare swami narayan hare <clears throat> thus a person wishing to attain liberation should not harbor any vicious feelings towards anyone if he does then he is sure to develop such ill feelings towards devotees of god and then equally towards god as well that is why if i have upset bhagwan is saying if i have upset even one meek person a meek person meaning a poor person garib ke na garib a poor person i think god resides as antaryami in all while staying in one place he knows what is in everyone's heart so since mu- since god resides in his heart one should not possess any kind of ill feelings and if i do hurt someone then realizing this i bow down to him give him whatever he wishes and do whatever is necessary to please him this is all we want to discuss today Now Bhagwan is saying that a person who does not a person who wants to attain liberation should not hold any vicious feelings. What is the definition of a vicious feeling? Think. Vicious feeling, let me break that word down, vicious. Vicious meaning bad, bad feelings towards other people. bad feelings cruel intentions feelings towards others what do i mean thoughts like 
I hate this person. I do not like this person because he is like this. This person is like this, so I want to stay away from him. You can fill in the blanks, but I am just giving you a template. Let me give you an example. You have a friend. His name is Rushi. Now, Rushi, you know him for years. You know him since your childhood. He is your best friend since the second grade. Since the second grade until high school. Currently, you're in high school. Just imagine this, okay? I'm giving you a hypothetical. Now, you've know, known him and you've grown up with him. You know everything he likes. You know everything he doesn't like. You know everything about him. So, in school, you get into some kind of fight with Rushi. Something where ha something happened and you don't like him. And he doesn't like you at that point. Now, what Rushi does is that he calls your, all your other friends and he says, let's go to a water park the whole day and have fun there. But don't tell him, meaning you yourself, don't tell him we don't want to invite him. Keep him away. We just want to go ourselves. So all of them plan but you find out via a person, another person, your friend, that Rushi has not invited you to the water park. He's saying, you have not been invited to the water park, period. Okay? Now, at that time, think about what kind of feelings you hold towards Rushi. You've known Rushi all your life, ever since the second grade, but feelings like this occur. I hate him. Why did he do this to me? Why is he spreading? Why, why is he doing this to me? He is my friend, yet why did he not invite me? Now what I want to do is call all my friends and tell them not to go to the water park because Rushi is like this. This is the vicious feelings that one holds. You've known Rushi all your life, yet on a small incident, on a small subject, you completely have feelings like you don't even know him or you don't even want to know him or you want to stay away from him. Think about our spiritual level. Small thing happens and we want to completely get away from that person. In the same way, Bhagwan is saying that a person wishing to attain liberation should not harbor any vicious natures towards anyone especially towards God and his devotees. Now, this happens more in Mandir. When we're in Mandir, we interact with everyone. And sometimes we don't get along with other people. So we have thoughts in our mind that this person is like this or this person is like this. But we don't know if he is really like this we just experience it because we're wearing those kind of glasses. Suppose you're wearing glasses that are the color green, okay? What can you see? What do you see? Green. If you're wearing glasses that are red, what do you see? If you're wearing glasses that are 3D, what do you see? 3D, right? Whatever you're wearing, that's what you see. In the same way, however feelings you have towards the other person, that's how you'll feel towards them. It's simple. I have a story for you. In the time of Sriji Maharaj, there was a saint of his named Vrajnanan Swami who traveled around Gujarat doing vichran. Vichran meaning he went home to home to devotees and did spiritual talks there and help them understand the glory of Bhagwan Swami Nare. So one time, Vrajan and Swami came to the village of Thordi. There, a farmer by the name of Mega li lived there. Mega did not like Bhagwan Swami Narayan. He despised him. He was completely against Bhagwan Swami Narayan. So obviously, he would be completely against Vrajan and Swami as well.
because he was a saint of Rajanan Swami. So, Rajanan Swami was doing katha to all the devotees. And all the devotees loved Swami's katha. Very nice katha, very nice katha. Everyone said it. But Mega could not bear to see everyone praising or everyone talking good about Swami. So this happened once, this happened twice, this happened three times. And then one time, Mega told Swami, the hell with you Swami, I do not want to stay here. You get out of this town, you're just a fake, you're a fraud. Meaning he insulted Swami. The insult or the vicious feeling he held towards Swami was jealousy or envy. Why? Because other people were praising him, yet he could not see him being praised. So Vrajanan Swami did not say anything. He just folded his hands and he went away. All the other devotees witnessed this. They saw that Mega said bad about Swami. But not to cause any kind of emotion or fight, they also left. And Mega went back to his home. So that night, Mega was taking dinner. And back in India, at that time, they didn't have electricity. So for light, they used to light the candle. So Mega had a candle on the dinner table, and it was lit. And he was just about to take dinner, eat food. But all of a sudden, a gust of wind came, and the candle blew out. It was completely dark in the whole room. Now, Mega must have not closed the door, so the door was a little open, and a cat sneaked in. Now, when an animal sneaks into your home, the first thing it looks for is food, then everything else. So the cat directly jumped on the table and took a piece of the food that Mega was, had. And what in its mouth, it had an insect, and it dropped it off on Mega's plate. Picked up the food, dropped off the insect, okay? Now, Mega does not know anything. He can't see anything. It's dark. So he started to eat. And that insect, he ate. He didn't know. He couldn't see. But the insect was poisonous. So due to that, Mega had diarrhea and started to vomit and became very, very ill. He had a fever. Now, this continued for many, many days. But no cure. Nothing could happen. So then... All the devotees of the town and his family concluded that due to insulting Vrajnanan Swami, due to having bad feelings towards Vrajnanan Swami, he is suffering from this. So greatly, Mega despised this. And Vrajnanan Swami found out that this person is suffering. So he prayed to Bhagwan that please forgive him for his sins. And then after that, Mega got purified and he became a devotee his health also got well but the main point is that he held a vicious nature he held a vicious feeling towards Swami due to that he suffered now Bhagwan is saying that if one should not hold any ill feelings towards devotees of God meaning saints or devotees and eventually God as well the remedy for this is if one thinks of the good qualities of a devotee and God, then one can never have any bad feelings towards any of them. Continuing on. That is why I have upset even one meek person. I think God resides as Antaryami in all. While staying in one place, He knows what is in everyone's heart. Antaryami. Now, there's many kids watching as well. So I want to explain. Antaryami. All those kids who watch cartoons knows who Superman is. Correct? Superman. Superman is a ficti fictitious uh, character who holds a lot of powers. He, can, he is like lightning. He can fly. He, can, uh, he has x-ray vision. He has many, many things. Okay? Antaryami... Now, I'm not comparing 
Bhagwan to Superman, but to give kids example, I want to tell you that this is what it means. But a specific meaning of Antaryami is God's ability to know everyone's innermost thoughts and feelings. Let me give you an example. You're in high school and you have a principal. Everyone has a principal in high school, correct? Everyone has a principal in any school. Now that principal, he has an office. Inside of the office, he has a desk. Also, all around the, cam all around the school and inside the school, he has camera systems set up everywhere. So he can monitor all the kids. Inside of his office, he has screens, LCD screens, where he can see each and every kid's behavior, character, what he's doing, everything. Now, the principal does not physically have to be in that area to see what that child is doing. He can see through the camera, right? In the same way, Bhagwan resides in his Akshar Dham, but he knows the most innermost feelings of each and every person, each and every living thing, each and everything. He, you may not see him physically, but he resides in each and every person's heart. That is what's Antaryami. Now, let me give you a short story of Sriji Maharaj's time. What is the meaning of Antaryami? Ladudan Gadvi <clears throat> was a famous, famous poet who was born in Rajasthan. He was such a poet that he was recognized by many kings. Whenever he went to kingdoms, he would sing and narrate the king's qualities and the kings would become happy upon him, always. One time he came to King Vajesi of Bhavnagar. Now there, <clears throat> he sang for uh, that king and the king became pleased. So. For a token of donation, the king said, I want to make golden ornaments for you. So the king called his goldsmith and had him take all of his measurements. Now, the measurements were taken, but King Vajesi and Larudan saw the Tilak Chanlo in the goldsmith's forehead. So he wondered, what is this? The, gold, the goldsmith said that this is the mark of Swami Narayan. Laudadan asked, who is Swami Narayan? Swami Narayan is God, of course. He is residing Gadrada right now in Gujarat. King Vajesi said, he must be a fraud. Why don't you go there, Laudadan, and prove him wrong? So, Laudadan took off from Bhavnagar to go to Gadrada. On his way there, he thought, Larudan was very smart, so he thought that I must test if this is Swami Narayan or not, right? If you want to know how someone is, you must test them. You cannot just judge them at first sight. So Larudan started to think, and he had four wishes, that if this Swami Narayan fulfills these four wishes, then I will surrender to him and he is considered to be the supreme God. Okay? Number one, he will be reading the Srimad Bhagwat, and underneath the Srimad Bhagwat, there will be a black cloth underneath it. Number two, he would be wearing a garland full of red flowers, but no ordinary flowers, flowers that are not found in that season, meaning completely opposite. Number three, when I enter the darbar, the courtyard, then he'll be calling me by his, my name and invite me to come and sit. And number four, he'll spread his feet out and in his feet, he will have 16 symbols, which symbolizes this is God. So he thought of this and he was going. Now, when he came and when he started to enter Gadara, 
in his heart, he started to have feelings like, is this Bhagwan? Maybe he is. Maybe he's not. Maybe he is. Maybe he's not. Before, he was like, this is not Bhagwan. He thought that King Vajesi has sent me so to prove that this is not Bhagwan. He's a fraud. He's false. But as Larudan got closer, he started to have mixed feelings. Then, when he entered the Adhakachar's Dalbar, the courtyard, the Srimad Bhagavat was being read. There was a black cloth on which Bhagwan had the Srimad Bhagavat. Number one, fulfilled. Number two, Bhagwan himself stopped reading the Srimad Bhagavat and said, Come, come, Larudanji, come and sit here. Number two, check. Then, as Larudan entered and he came, Bhagwan took off the garland and put it on Larudanji. Number three, finished. And number four, finally, Bhagwan himself spread his feet and Larudan had the darshan of Bhagwan's Charnarvin, the 16 symbols, and there he fell at Bhagwan's feet. He said, you are Bhagwan. Bhagwan did not have to say anything. Because of his antaryami powers, because he was antaryami, he knew that Larudan was thinking of these four things. So before, he had everything prepared. Bhagwan is smart too. Just like how Larudan was, Bhagwan is smart too. He prepared everything. So, he fell at the feet. And at that time, because Larudan was so amazed, he composed the kirtan. Ajani gadi re danya, ajani gadi. Me nirkhya sa janandane, ajani gadi. He composed that kirtan there. And there, Bhagwan himself made him into a saint. At first, he named him Sri Rang Swami, Sri Rang Dasi Swami, and then changed his name to Sadguru Brahmanan Swami. Now, this proves that Bhagwan is Antaryami. This is his powers. He is all knowing. But what does Bhagwan want us to do? Let's find out. In short, God resides as Antaryami in all. While staying in one place, he knows what is in everyone's heart. We found that out through the principal example. So since he must also be present in the heart of the person whom I have upset, I offended God as well. Realizing this, I bow down to him, give him whatever he wishes, and do not do, do whatever is necessary to please him. So finally, if you have held some kind of bad thought towards someone, you must think that Bhagwan is inside of him. So I've also thought of Bhagwan as being like this. So to make an animate, you should ask for forgiveness. I'm speaking to all the kids because this happens more to the kids in school or in any kind of, even in mandir, any kind of situation. Forgive the other person and look at his qualities. This is my message to all of you. Jai Swami Narayan. Pujya Rushi Ullab Swami will be now giving his discourse on bhakti. So please stay on live. Varnivesh Ramaniya Darsanam 
मंदहासुचिराननाबुज पूजित सुरनरोतमुदा धर्मनंदनमह विचित श्री हरिकृष्ण महाराज जय ऑल माइट इज सुप्रीम गॉड भगवान स्वामी नारायण डिवाइनली प्रेजेंट और ही अवर पूज्य गुरु जी पूज्य श्री जी स्वामी पूज्य भगत जी ऑल ऑफ यू डिटी जय स्वामी नारायण as we are going to discuss about the various types of devotion means bhakti today let us discuss something about the first type that is devotion of listening in the world there are so many things about listening science scientist says that one who can listen only that person can speak if one cannot listen by birth he cannot speak for ever his life and we also know we also know about these things because this is the universal truth this is the fact and other thing is that if we can listen only one language we can speak only those language if we cannot listen we cannot understand what the meaning of chinese language and someone speak ching chang chang chung we cannot understand we cannot speak because from our childhood our atmosphere is like that we cannot have any day to listen such words this is what in the world the meaning of listening and what is the usefulness of listening but what is in spiritual world how listening is useful or beneficial in this spiritual world in spiritual world there is another meaning of listening we have not like who can speak only can or who can listen only can speak but here in our spiritual world who can listen who can listen the glory of god who can listen the katha from the santo only can live in the spiritual world if anyone a person may be highly meritorious a person who how many he has acquired wealth property or even spiritual qualities but if he stop to listen katha then he may be one day either today or tomorrow will die from the satsang that is why we have to listen katha every day for this sri ji maharaj says in the vachanavrat 12th vachanavrat of karyani regardless of how lustful angry greedy or lewd a person may be if he listens to these types of discourses with faith and love all of his flaws would be eradicated if we have so many bad qualities and we try to eradicate those bad qualities from our heart then only one remedy is we have and that is listening katha what is katha is like first of all how can we know that we have these bad things in our heart when we stand before the mirror mirror reflects of our own self and when we see in the mirror if any spot on our face we can see and after seeing after observing and examining those spot we can remove we can 
take any medicine or any other thing. But if we cannot stand before the mirror, how can we know about spot on our face? Similarly, when we listen Katha, when we listen spiritual discourses from Sadhu, at the time, spiritual discourses is like a mirror. And when we listen carefully the Katha, at the time we can understand what is my mistakes, what is some bad quality in me, and then after we can apply any spiritual remedy, any spiritual endeavor to remove those parts in the form of bad qualities in our life. But sometimes what happens? We use this mirror as a side mirror in the car. We listen Katha, but not for ourselves. Just like side mirror in the car, we cannot see our own face in the side mirror, but what is in this, uh, what is in rear of us. Similarly, most of us sometimes do these things instead of finding, instead of trying to find what is fault in me, we sometimes use this mirror, use this katha to find another fault. So this, this should not be do, uh, this should not do. So use this mirror only as a mirror, not side mirror, right? But Maharaj in Vachanamuru says, all of flows can be removed by listening katha. In times of Bhagwan Swami Narayan, there is one devotee in village Khambat. His name was Sadasivbhai. He was very staunch devotee of Bhagwan Swami Narayan and his guru was Gopadanand Swami. At the time, there is poverty all over in India, but Sadasivbhai was very prosperous and wealthy businessman. And so it, it is naturally that he had so many wealth and property. And he had built a new, very luxurious and very attractive with wooden carving, a very famous in at the time in Gujarat, a very, very prosperous bungalow in combat. But the whole building is of wooden. And as a devotee, as we all also used to do this thing, when we have a new house, we have a new office, then we first sanctified those house and office by the Padramni of Santo and Thakurji. Similarly, Sadasivai also went to Vadodara to invite Gopanan Swami and other Santo to sanctify his beautiful, luxurious house. And as a businessman and as a wealthy man, here also some something that I am very prosperous, I am very wealthy man, I am the topmost businessman in this town. This is what something in his mind. That is his deficiency. But even he don't know. Uh, he does not know about his deficiency. And he went to Vadodara to invite Gopadan and Swami. And but as Gopadan Swami knew all about past, present, and future about everybody. So Gopanan Swami knew that he has greed for his wealth. He has attachment to his very prosperous and luxurious house. So 
Gopanand Swami thought that if he knew about the any damage of his houses, then he could not bear those damages. And so Gopanand Swami said, "We will be there after some time, after some days, but till you." stay here for some days and listen katha and when so that's upai was there and listening katha from gopanand and swami in vadodara so when written message came from khambat and later uh, later was read by gopanand swami in personal and in those later the message was that the due to any fire the whole luxurious haveli would be burned uh, was burned burned out and so this message speedily uh, this message is immediately listened to sadasi ubhai and please come back to kambat but Gopanand Swami knew that about the mental condition of Sadasiv Bhai and so he had not given any message to Sadasiv Bhai and after some days he had listened him katha and when Sadasiv Bhai is ready to bear any kind of damage to his property by listening katha and after some days Gopanand Swami had given him message about his burning house but at the time so that's you by said swami ji you have given me a new life because if you have you have given me this news before some days at the time i i was also be born with my haveli because i have such attachment i have greed for my wealth but after listening your katha now i have no any attachment with wealth with society with prosperous status this is what the importance of katha importance of listening and this is that is why this is called as devotion what is meaning of devotion to any how attached with god any how loved to god so when we listen anything about god anything related to god not only this but if we listen what this what is in the scriptures from a sadhu at the time our mind our antakaran our all things are automatically attached to the form of god in another way if we have no such kind of quality suppose no doubt we have but if suppose we have no such bad qualities in our life but by listening katha we can secure our good qualities if we want to secure our good qualities then we have to listen katha see we have in us very advanced security system but still what is the feeling at the time of 911 we all knew about in 911 even though we have in us very advanced security system still we eager to change our security system and also desire to have more advanced security system why because we want to live similarly if we want to live in the satsang we have to develop we have to accept we have to arrange surrounding our thoughts surrounding our life uh, security system in the form of 
spiritual discourses. If we have these spiritual discourses every day, then no any kind of evil thoughts come in our mind. Not any bad person can disturb us. Any disturbing thoughts disturb us while meditating on God. And we can easily live in the spiritual world and enjoy the real bliss of Maharaj. Sometimes what happens? If we cannot listen Katha from Sadhu, then what happens in our life? Even though we are reading the scriptures, we have all the other qualities in our life. But if we stop to listen Katha, one day our good qualities also decreases day by day and gradually even we cannot understand how and when and where but we will be changed totally even we will not be remain in spiritual that is what the date for us in this way we cannot live we cannot live in the spiritual world Thing. There are so many people in, the, in this world who has attachment with the world and so they always, without any fail, without any failure, they always used to watch or read news, listen news. Maybe some of you also. If any day a person could not listen anyhow or watch anyhow uh, any news on his TV then he cannot feel any good he cannot sleep at night without watching news so if he want to remain stable and steady in the world he can have he, he, he can understand the necessity of viewing and watching news knowing about what happened in the world. Similarly, if we, we, we want to stable in the spiritual world, we want to remain very healthy in this world, in the spiritual world, we have to listen discourses without failure. We have to read, we have to listen every day Katha. Even Bhagwan Swami Narayan, from his childhood also, very very habituated to listen katha not only in his childhood but after remaining in the satsang and one time sriji maharaj was in karyani and within two months of period within two months of period sriji maharaj had listened srimad bhagavat seven times just imagine and calculate it. how many hours he was listening at the time the Katha. He had no need to listen Katha but to preach his devotee. Whenever you get time, listen Katha. So this is what the importance of Type, first type of bhakti that is devotion, uh, devotion of listening. In conclusion, Sriji Maharaj says in Vachnamrut, uh, 24th Vachnamrut, last chapter, Maharaj says, In fact, out of the nine types of bhakti mentioned in the scripture, the bhakti of listening to spiritual discourses is considered to be the best. Therefore, one who possesses that form of bhakti will attain all of the various forms of bhakti up to and including profound loving bhakti. So if we want to increase the another eight types of bhakti in our life, this is the key. If we enter any house and the main door is closed, the main door is this. When we apply this key, this key in the form of listening Katha, 
then we can have the whole house open. Similarly, if we progress in all aspect of our spiritual life, at the time, we have to use this key in the form of spiritual discourses. Let we all try to use this key, this master key. But the, another question is arise in our mind after deciding to use this key to listen this katha. How to listen this katha? The method is described in the Vachanamrut. First, we have to do Sravan, then Manan, and then Nididyas. Means, we have to first listen. The words enter in our ears. The second step is to think over the words, what we have listened. Not only just by listening anything, otherwise what happens? If suppose you are sent to any Arabian countries and you cannot understand the Arabian language and at the any place or any embassy uh, of, an officer asks you any question in Arabic language but you cannot understand no doubt at the time you are listening what the officer said but you cannot understand similarly if when we listen katha at the time we cannot fully grasp what the exit meaning of that and so at the time what is our duty after listening katha we have to memorize all the katha if we cannot memorize all the katha we have to write down some important points from the katha and after writing what the katha and after when we get some time extra time we have to thinking over those point and after thinking those point what is for me how can I acquire this quality what I have listened yesterday in this katha and by applying this method we cannot we can have those qualities in our life not the same day but after practicing day by day gradually we will one day acquire all the qualities what is our aim our aim to please our Maharaj our aim to please our Guruji but if we cannot listen these discourses very carefully if we cannot try what is for me we cannot remember the Katha then how can we try to acquire those qualities in our life and if we have no such good qualities in our life then how can the Maharaj and Guruji will be pleased upon us so now that we all together today decide we will listen Katha every day whenever we get time and when it, it, is, it is, is this age of technology we have so many instruments and technology internet, iPods, iPhones we have all facilities available Worldly people use those things to enjoy their worldly music, worldly news and all other things, watching movies and all other things. So we have those instruments and to get benefit from those instruments, we can listen katha, kirtans, we can watch religious movies cultural program the character described in those cultural program of these very ideal devotees then at the time by using this method we can save over time we can 
if we cannot have spare some time extra time special time to listen katha then while doing any work any activity we can listen discourses while doing any activity with the use of with the help of these instruments because this katha is like a lifeline in our life if we cannot drink water then imagine without water can a person live no person cannot living on this earth without water similarly as we are a disciple of bhagwan swami narayan if we want to live in the spiritual world then we have to drink more and more water doctor also says and everybody if you want to remain healthy you should drink more and more water similarly this is also water this is life for the spiritual world spiritual life so if we want to remain healthy in the spiritual world we have to drink more and more water in the form of spiritual discourses that's it jai swami narayan श्रीपतिम श्रीधर सर्वेश्वर भक्तिदर्माज वासुदेव हरे माधव केशव कामद कारण स्वामीनारायण नीलकंठम भजे श्रीहरिकृष्ण महाराजनी जय